Today we're going to show you how to create a circle crop in Photoshop. So jumping right in, the first thing we need to do is take our background layer. You can see it has a lock icon on it. We're going to go ahead and double click right here on the layer to turn it into a new layer and call it layer zero, hit OK. Now you can see it's unlocked and ready to go. All you have to do here is grab your frame tool, make sure you have your circle selected. We're going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold shift so I make a perfect circle. Let's go ahead and click and drag out. There we go. And here we have our circle crop of our subject. Now, if we want to move the subject at any time, simply click on the subject and you can use your move tool. You're hitting V for the move tool to move your subject around, or you can hit control or command T for transform and you can make your subject larger or smaller right there inside of that circle crop. Now, if I click here on my frame, I've got my contextual taskbar right here. If you don't see it, simply go to window and down to contextual taskbar. Make sure that's checked. From here, we can replace the image inside of the frame. I could add a stroke. Let's go ahead and click there. I'm going to click on my color icon here. I could make it a white stroke. I can change my color to anything that I want. I can even use my eyedropper tool to select a color right over here in my image. Let's hit OK there. And then we're going to just increase the size of my stroke. And here you can see now we have a purple stroke around our image. You can change this from being an inside stroke to a center stroke to an outside stroke. And of course, you can change your color at any time. We're going to go to white. Or if you want to completely remove the stroke, click here and then go to no stroke. In this case, I kind of like the white stroke, so we're going to leave that. Now it's time to export this image out. All you have to do, make sure you're going to notice here, by the way, if you have your frame selected, it's going to have a white border around it. If you have your image selected, it's going to have a white border around the image. Now we need to make sure that our frame is selected. So let's make sure that the frame is selected with a white border. Here, all you have to do is right click here on your layer and go to where it says quick export as PNG. That's it. Now here we're going to go choose our folder. I've got an export folder already made. I'm going to give it a name, a circle.png and hit save. There we go. That's literally all there is to it here in my finder window. You can see we have our circle cropped image. Now, if I want to replace this image at any time, simply click here on my frame. We're going to go to replace image. You can generate an image using AI or import another image. Let's go ahead and click there. We're going to choose a different photo and click place. If I need to, I can hit control or command T for transform. Go ahead and scale our image and move it to the right place. Hit enter. And then to export this out again, just make sure the frame is selected with a white border around the frame itself. We're going to right click quick export as PNG. And here we're going to just going to call this circle O2. There we go. And just like that, we've done two images. We have circle.png. You can see it looks perfect. And circle02.png, that one looks perfect as well. And that's all there is to creating a circle crop and saving it out in Photoshop with a transparent background. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and let me know in a comment right down below what you'd like to learn next. And if you want to learn even more advanced Photoshop, check out Flurn Pro. We got an exclusive discount for you right down below. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.